Most effects found in Final Cut Pro are object trackable. However, an effect that is not object trackable that I really think should be is the draw mask effect. So today I'm going to show you a workaround so that you can make all of your draw masks completely object trackable in Final Cut Pro. Let's say I want to add a draw mask that follows our photographer here. What we can do is go over to our generators and look up the custom generator. I'm just going to apply that on my timeline and I'm going to trim it down with option right bracket. With our custom generator selected, we can come down to the effects browser and look up the draw mask effect. I'm going to double click to apply that. Then I'm going to push V to disable the custom generator. From there, with the draw mask selected, we can go ahead and create a shape around our photographer. Now the best part about this workaround is we can make this any shape we like. So if you needed to create a really complex draw mask, you could do just that and it's going to work just fine. And now I'm going to go ahead and close off this custom shape. From there, I'm going to come down to the transform tool, which I can also achieve with shift T. Then going to the top, we're going to select the tracker and drag the tracker over the object we want to track. At the top left, we'll go ahead and push analyze and allow Final Cut Pro to do its analyzing magic. From there, we can re-enable the custom shape and see how it tracks along in our scene. If your tracking looks good, you can come up to the top right and push done. Now all we need to do is select the custom generator and find our blend mode options. Change it from normal over to stencil alpha. What this will do is tell Final Cut Pro that wherever there is an alpha channel with this custom shape, it will actually cut out the underlying layer. Now you'll notice a problem. While we do have this draw mask shape, it is not revealing our minimal background that is lying underneath everything. So there are two very simple ways to fix this problem. The first way is to select both your custom layer and your tracked layer, right click and select new compound clip. Then we can just call this whatever we like and push OK. From there, you'll see that we now have a perfectly cut out background. However, if for some reason you don't want to apply anything into a compound clip, all you need to do is drag your background up on top of all of the layers in your layer stack, then change the blend mode from normal over to behind. And now that layer is going to be behind everything just as you would expect. If this video was helpful to you, you really might want to consider checking out this video where I show how to remove objects by creating a clone stamp tool. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.